to over here? I guess we're going to the police department. Let's take a shower. We're probably covered in zombie blood. Here we go. Ta-da! Water's gushing out from a broken hydrant. Alright, now we now we smell nice and fresh. Nice and fresh. Oh man, we're going back to the police station. This is epic as heck. Let's go. Oh yes. Back to the police department. Only thing that can take us down is a zombie apocalypse. Oh! Yeah, we got cutscenes. We've got a Holy crap! Look out, Brad! Brad! Shishka Brad! Shishka Brad! Oh, man. Stars. No. No, 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 no. Oh, choices. Choices, choices. Fight with the monster into police station. Um, um, um. I'm gonna fight with him. Let's fight. Oh! Oh! No! 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 Oh gosh! Get up! Get up! No! 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 That's not right. Look at this, they don't even care about you. Imagine if you didn't save it. Imagine if you didn't save it, how you'd be feeling right now. I got mashed. Resident Evil. Wow. <laughs> Rip in peace. <laughs> Oh, dude. They've taken everything from me. Yes, they have, but I won't give up. I won't allow them to win. I will survive. They can't stop my last escape. They just did, girl. I don't know if you... I don't know if you were watching. But, uh, they kind of did. That's it. This ink ribbon out of here. Okay, I'm using the... I'm using the magnum on this fool. Uh... Alright, we're all good. Alright, let's try this again. I'll be right back. Holy crap, man. Rest in pizza. Rest in pizza. Could have ran, all right. I could have ran, but I decided not to. I decided to fight the beast face to face. Now I know what to do. Uh oh, oh, okay. What peaceful music? It's right out here too. It's actually a very, um, a very okay death in my book. I did fight Brock Lesnar. That was Octo Lesnar. Octo Lesnar with all these tentacles. Rest in Reese's Pieces and Peace Pizza. What? 
you writing a rhyme right now or something? Wait, wait, wait. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Rest in recent pieces, pizza, Peter pick, picked a pick pepper? What? Did he really? I didn't know that. Alright, that's where we came out from. Never mind. This is actually not, not a good death. Sorry I keep running over your daughter like that. But it has to happen. Where we're gonna take him out. This is this is our time out here, you goonie. Should have ran back and saved it. <laughs> So I remember what my problem was. I thought that there was nothing uh, else that I could do with this uh, diner. So I gotta go back to the diner. These rhymes are just incredible, guys. I can't wait to, to see the next one. <laughs> These tongue twisters. Shoddy time. Shoddy's all over your body. Ah! Where is she? I'm um, playing the PC version. Uh. Goodbye. Dude, your head is so gone. Alright, let's go. Yep, playing a PC version. Uh, just as high as it goes. Uh, they don't even let you... Uh, choose the resolution either, so basically I had to get the old P PC version. <laughs> uh, had to get it running on Windows 10. Had to um, install a third-party application to get my gamepad to work because this game did not have gamepad support, so I would just be playing it with a keyboard and mouse, and that would have been horrible. Absolutely horrible. Unlocked? Alright. No, I'm not using this. Actually, I'm not using this. I'm using the bag. I got six bullets. Or five bullets. Why is that? Here, fine. Ah, yeah, useful. Here we go. Alright, it's time for the bag. Irish, what's up, man? <clears throat> Alright, what's it say? What's it say? Rest in. Reese's Pieces, Pepperoni Pizza, Peter Pickett, Pickled Peppers, Lean In, Tower of Pizza. What in the wide world of sports? What the heck? What the heck? No! Why are they out? Come on, step right up. Oh yeah, all of y'all. Come on, come on. And cut. No, no, no. Okay. Jeez. Ooh. 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 All right. I like the sounds they make. Ooh. Can you imagine being a voice actor and they're like, all right, with more feeling this time. And you're like, ooh. They're like, no, more feeling. You're like, ooh. They're like, okay, good, good job. At least we're pressing forward. Today is September 27th. Jurassic World. It's good. It's a good movie. 
not as good as the, the first one, uh, well, the first reboot. However you're supposed to classify what they just did with Chris Pratt, it's not as good as that one. But it is presentable. Here we go, burn it up. Burn it down. There we go, let's get in here. I feel like I should run back and save it so I don't have to do all that again, but... Guess what, I'm not gonna do that. Because I'm a savage. That's what savages do. Baggle, 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 baggle. Baggle, baggle. Maggle, maggle. Alright, what's in here? Did I ever go in here? <laughs> Reggie J, what's up, man? Oh, it's a safe room right here! Dude, I wish I would have known that before. I definitely would have saved it. All right, let's do this. All right, let's, uh... I don't like this outfit. Um, I'm playing the game on PC. On PC, they give you a, uh, a choice if you want to play it on easy mode, hard mode, whatever all across the board so I just started it on easy because I haven't played the game in in years and uh, they give you a choice between outfits and they give you a choice between uh, like it basically starts you off with some good stuff so I let I let uh, everyone in here vote on what outfit I would use and people voted on this will I use the ink ribbon yes I shall heck yeah I'm playing the classics man I love these games I'm always working towards giving you guys a varied experience and some other things you might not have seen in a while. There we go, we got the alley. Like Kirsty. What happened to Kirsty Alley? Have you seen her lately? Is she okay? Oh, she's okay, man. Alright. What are we doing? Alright, Magnum. Equip the Magnum now. Yes. We're going to war, guys. Are you ready to go to war? I don't know if you guys are ready to go to war like I am. Kirstie Alley, the, the lady from uh, Look Who's Talking. Remember that, that uh, movie where the babies could, like, talk in their heads? <laughs> it sounds horrible. It's, it's a good movie, okay? It's a good movie. All right, let's open up the wager. Am I going to live or die? Right, let's make this between one and a thousand you can wager on this. Blue was a beast, yeah. It's a, good, it's a good movie, man. It's not as good as the first one, but I, I do... I do see that they tried. Alright, so Gritty wins. Wait, Gritty... Gritty lives. Let's put... No, let's put Gritty wins. Or let's put Gritty fails. <laughs> let's put dice. place the wager. Here we go. Cheesecake is a sign of defeat. <laughs> like how they made, uh, made them their own movie instead of trying to reboot. Yes! Irish, I do like that a lot. I still don't understand why it's not giving you your bit badge. That's so weird, man. Twitch is twitching, like always. Goldblum's parts are here, non existent. Yeah. Oh, no, man. Yeah, they advertised it like he was going to be all over the movie, but it was like, okay. Where is where's he at? Yeah. There's still an awful lot of talking in the movie, but it's not it's not Goldblum. <laughs> Alright, what do you guys think? Am I gonna live or am I gonna die? You still think I'm gonna die? How am I gonna die? I got the freaking Magnum out. I'm gonna die? Alright, that's it. <laughs> oh man. People still think I'm gonna die out here. If you don't know how to wager, please read what Mubot is saying. Mubot is gonna teach you how to how to wager. It's not hard. You can basically just copy what other people are doing as long as you have the XP. If you don't have a thousand XP, don't place a thousand XP wager. You can always check your XP by typing exclamation mark gritty XP. And it'll tell you how much you got.
You ever played this, Irish? Who in here has played this game? That's that's a good that's a good thing to ask. Who's played this game in here? If you have played it, say me. If you have not played it, say not me. <laughs> Anybody in here played this game before? I am pretty sure Fox has. <laughs> Second City's played it. Have, yeah, but it's been a long time. Dude, what about Dino Crisis? Speaking of dinosaurs and Resident Evil, put those two together and that's Dino Crisis. Oh my god, I gotta play Dino Crisis, man. Not even one either, I gotta play Dino Crisis 2. Dino Crisis 2 is a masterpiece. That game is is up there with Resident Evil, guaranteed. If you guys have never seen Dino Crisis, I have to play that game for you guys. Dino Crisis is one of the Dino Crisis 2 is one of the greatest games Capcom ever made. Holy crap, dude! Tori says I'm gonna die. Tori, really? I thought we were friends, Tori. <laughs> Dino Crisis, man, what a great game! What a great series of games. The first one's not bad. I'm just saying the second one really really did the dang thing. All right, I'm going to leave the wager open for another 30 seconds, guys. Make sure you get your wager in here because I'm going to close this down before I open this door. I'm going up against the nemesis himself, okay? The nemesis himself. So do you guys think I'm going to win or am I going to die against the nemesis himself? The, the game is named after him. <laughs> Skullcrusher Princess. Dino type game was Turok. Oh, Turok was epic. <laughs> We're friends. I just think you're gonna die. <laughs> That's good stuff. I, I think I might die too. It's all right. Dino Crisis Three was. Oh, Dino Crisis Three is action packed. I got that game. I got it right over here. Hang on. You guys, a, a few more seconds to place your wagers. One, one moment. Dino, Dino Crisis, Dino Crisis 3, very few people have ever played this game, I own this game, and it still has the seal on it, I broke the seal, but it still has the seal, look at that, see that, that equals collector status, when you see a person who owns Dino Crisis 3, and it has the seal, you know it's real, you know it's real, you know it's getting real out here. Open it up. Oh, if people definitely want me to open it up, you know, show them. Show them Grady. Is it in perfect condition? Yes, it's in perfect condition. All right, don't, don't, don't even ask. Don't even worry about it. You know me. Three is hard, man. It's a hard game. I think three is like the hardest one. I've beat every other game that Capcom has put out, pretty much. I even beat uh, uh, Lost Planet and stuff. Like I beat, I beat so many of their games, but. That game, I just get stuck. This game's hard, man. Have I played Roblox? No, I have not. <laughs> yeah, but do you have PS1 PAL Dino 1 and Dino 2? No, I do not. I have, um, I have Dino Crisis 2 on regular PlayStation. I have Dino Crisis 1, but neither of them are here. My brother has both of them. Uh but not PAL, no. The only games that I have that are like out of my region are uh, Dragon Ball. Which Dragon Ball is it? It's some crazy Dragon Ball here. I'm gonna grab this too. All right, I know I'm trying to delay for time because I know I'm gonna die, but here, one second. <laughs> Dragon Ball Final Bout. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's all super Japanese. Look at this. Look on the back. Can you read that? No. PlayStation, the best for family. That's what it says. Look at the disc. The disc looks super cool. Oh, God. Look at the disc. It's got Goku, but it's like shiny. It's pretty nice. I don't know if you guys can see that at all. I'm just trying to show you. real cool. 
Yeah, I think this is one of the only things I have that's like outside of my region. Normally I just try to keep it in region. The worst DBZ game hype. <laughs> hey man, I, it was worth a couple hundred bucks when I got it, so. I was like, I don't care if it's good or not. Magical floating discs. All right, hopefully everybody has their wager in here. Blueprint, you think I'm gonna die? I'm about to go fight Nemesis right now. Okay, option one is that I live. Option two is that I die, Blueprint. I'm gonna let Blueprint get his wager in here and then we're gonna go. The Medieval Remake. Um, I haven't heard anything. It says I'm gonna live, see? There you go. I trust you guys, I trust you. I gotta make sure it takes Blueprint's uh, wager. Alright, we're going. We're doing it. more confidence in myself if I was able to open doors like great when I want to. Alright, let's go. See, I was too clean. I gotta come in here extra dirty. Last time I took a shower. Don't do that. Hawkeye, what's up, man? Brad! Brad. Good gracious, Brad. Stars. No, I'm gonna show you some stars. I'm gonna show you some stars. You're gonna be seeing stars after I'm done with you. Alright, fight with the monster. Fight with the monster. Let's go! Oh god. Huh. How you feeling? Good I'm all cautioned up. Use this. Um. Oh! Oh! No, 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 reload! Sit down! Oh, guys, he's still alive. Run, girl, run! That's right. That's right. Look at the purple. Look at this, man. He's a Prince fan. Who would have known? Nemesis has been listening to Purple Rain his whole, his whole life. Take these bullets. Like, my name was Scarface. Gamble winner. Option one. See? You guys gotta believe. Kaboom. 8,000 XP were wagered, and who won? Brave Jelly. <laughs> I knew you could do it. Blueprint wins, Skullcrusher Princess wins, and Reggie J wins. Oh, yes. Holding my side, though. Am I holding my side? No, I'm, I'm good. I'm switch up, switch back to the shotgun. <laughs> let's, not, let's not mess around. Can I search him? Aw, oh, man. Ooh, he was like, ooh. Brad, no. What's he got? Card case. Sure. Only three people believed. Everybody else was like, nah, Gritty's dead. Well, it was three to three. So, that's cool. Are these herbs? No, they should be herbs. You should go herbs outside the police station, don't you think? Here we go. Into the Raccoon City Police Department. Whew! Oh, I should actually give, give some XP. We are. We're back in. Here, I'm gonna get 
give, uh, give 250, how about this? Oh, there's all the, the green herbs over there, you see them? Right over here. Oh my goodness, dude. So many awesome songs in this game. Will I take the green herb? Actually, no. I don't have any space. Wait a minute, let me check. Let me check. What's this? Uh, check. Card of some kind is inside the card case. Star's card. Okay. 90 card for stars with Brad's picture on it. Okay. Thanks. I don't know what to do with that yet, but we'll figure it out. Oh man, this game is... I love this game. Nostalgia's in full effect. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man. Heck yes. Alright, I think you use it on the computer over here. Bullets on the counter, but I don't want those. Dude. My dress caught on everything. We use the stars card. Yes. See, I was right. Notice the stars personnel. Dot, dot, dot. Due to the emergency, the key to the star the stars office has been moved to the evidence room. Base password for the safe is 0131. Can anybody remember that for me? Okay. Can people remember that for me, please? 0131. I'm gonna try. Gosh, this freaking game. If you guys believe it or not, this game was the the inspiration for this brand new layout. Literally, I made this layout because I wanted to play this game. So that's that's how powerful this game is in my in my mind. It's a great game. Meter maid, yeah, she's a meter maid. Meter maid Jill. 0131, okay. Remember that guy. This on the desk. It's a police station map. Ooh. Taking the police station map. Dude, the, the music is so, it's like eerie, but it's peaceful, but it's also like letting you know about. It's got this feeling that lets you know that outside the walls there's chaos. Outside the walls of the room that you're in, that there are things lurking. There are things out there that are looking to eat you alive, and the music just perfectly plays that. I just love it so much. Wait. If I, I could save my progress if I had an ink, ink ribbon. Where the heck is an ink ribbon? There's no, uh... Wait a minute. Ink ribbon? No, I want an ink ribbon. Thanks a lot. It's a lot game. Couldn't have done it without you. Wait, am I going backwards? Exactly. So, what's this going on during Resident Evil 2? Oh my god, it's... Get your head off. Okay, I want to take his face off. Like Nicholas Cage. John Travolta. Um, the... The timelines are all kinds of weird with this. Oh! Ah! Huh, sit down. The timelines are all kinds of weird in this game. Uh, in the Resident Evil games, but I'm sure somebody can tell you exactly how it is. I I think it's a little bit after. Get out of here. Or no, I think it is happening during it. Maybe it's like a little bit after. Oh, gosh, man, I don't know because if you play it, I don't know. I don't know, man. I think it's like almost at the same time. I have no idea. It takes place before Resident Evil 2. Does it really though? Seriously? It takes place before and after Resident Evil 2. <laughs> Alright, I think this is the office they're talking about. Hey, it's that cop that's in the uh, Resident Evil 2 remake. Marvin Brana. He's been fatally wounded by zombies. He appears to be holding something in his hand. Marvin's report. September 24th. 
There are reports, hang on, there are reports of a theft in the municipal building before dawn. A jewel decorated clock at the main gate was damaged. Two of the 12 gems that are installed on the face of the clock are missing. Due to lack of available officers at this time, I have no choice but to suspend the research of this case. Signed, Marvin Brand. Report, September 26th. Based upon an autopsy report of a 42-year-old restaurant owner, I have discovered that he has one of the missing gems. He apparently took shelter in the police department at about 10 a.m., where he was shot to death within 10 minutes, having developed the symptoms. Since the city is currently under martial law, we are forced to suspend this case at this time. Keep the gem as evidence. Signed, Marvin Brand. Yo, Marvin the gangster. Yeah, exactly. Fits in line. That's why I'm like, are you sure? Oh, Jill mistakes him for being dead and Leon finds him at... Oh! So he's not dead? So he's just passed out right now. Are you sure? That's so crazy. I never knew this. You see, man, it's always good to go back and play these games. Alright, so they kept the jewel, but where is it? it should be in this office, right? No, 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 no. no. Alright, I guess not in this office. Not in the office. I think. I hope so. I don't know. Oh. Alright. Red, red. Long red button. Here we go. We found a jewel. The blue gem. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dude, this game is so scary. It's like, what's around this corner, huh? Ah! Nothing. Okay, good. It's locked with a number base lock. Oh. First digit number. Uh. What was it, guys? Zero, one? Yep, all the mercenaries in Resident Evil 3 are all dead. If you play Resident Evil 2, pay attention to the diary file dates. Oh. Dude, Snow Fox, thank you for letting us know this stuff. Thank you very much, man. It's, it's awesome to, to have somebody in here who knows what the heck's going on, because I'm just... Normally, I just try to play through games and have fun, and, and I know a little bit about a lot, but I try, I try not to get too deep into stuff, but... The, knowing these things helps me out a lot because I have no idea when this game is supposed to be taking place. It's nice to be able to place it. Zero. Okay, zero. One. Four. No, three. One. Yeah! Yo. Alright, team three. Heck yeah. I also have uh, some footage of me playing Resident Evil the Remaster. I remember that. That was a great night. The night I played the Resident Evil Remaster, I had 150 people watching me. It was crazy. I, I loved it. that. That evening was great. So, so fun. And I actually played through the whole game without dying the first time through. No death. No deaths at all. I played through the whole entire game, didn't die one time. People were like, nah, he's gonna die, dude. He's gonna die. I was like, nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna die. <laughs> Here's a thousand XP. Thank you guys very much. How did we jump from this? Because Leon got hired to save the president's daughter because they, they knew they could trust him, you know? Thank you for the help, you guys. Thank you. This takes uh, place after Resident Evil 1, as far as I know. I can't get rich. I can't carry any more items! No! No! I didn't even read what that said until right now. Oh, that sucks. What am I going to do about this? Um, can I do something? Let's see. Oh, man. See, this is what I don't want to... This is what I don't want to happen. Fine. Uh, fine. Nope. Uh, fine. Nope. Aw, oh, man. I need that key. Yeah, let's keep going. Outbreak file series. Look at this. Hello. 
Look at the definition on these graphics, man. It looks so much better than the PlayStation version. No, get off me! Charlatan! Harlot! Woman of the night! Yeah, everyone gets blasted. Everyone dead? One shot! Ooh! Yo, look at me. See this? Skills. Okay, skills. I should put that. You're right about that, Reggie. Right as soon as I find a box, I'm putting that in there. I hear something. I hear something. deals, man. Get them while they're hot. Get them while they're on sale. Let's reload. Two for one deals. Can I drop the lighter? Can I drop the lighter? Nah. Oh, hey. Here's the room where Kobe Bryant... Look. Kobe Bryant... Can I get a better camera angle? Kobe, look, right there. Kobe Bryant dunking on people. You see him? That's Kobe. That's Kobe. I got the Kobe sight. Okay. Kobe height. That's Kobe right there. Okay. This game knows what's up. Kobe Bryant. <laughs> dunking on somebody right there. I hope it's Tim Duncan. It's probably a Portland Trailblazer. Knowing my luck, it's probably some Trailblazer. Kobe Bryant. Get something to drink? No. Kobe Bryant, baby. Ooh, something shiny. Can't pick it up. Oh, is that my card? Whose card is that? It looks like me on there. Like me on. I need a box so bad right now. Anything? Nothing. What's this? Sure. Ching. We're rich. What about this? Nothing you can do with the fireplace. Uh, yeah, there is. What? It's a fireplace. Oh, you liar, you. I saw Kobe Bryant. Right? They're trying to they're trying to get one over him. Looks like there was a recent accident here. Nah, you don't say. Uh, all right, so in chron chronological order, it goes Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 4, 5, then 6, then 7. Veronica, oh yeah, Veronica is incredible. I love Veronica. I beat that whole game with a knife. Just a knife. I should try that again sometime soon. Beat Code Veronica with just a knife. Although, I must say, I didn't beat the whole game with a knife because at the very end, you have to use that linear launcher thing to, to win. So... I did beat the whole game with a knife, but like that last part, you have to use a different uh, weapon to win. You literally have to, or else they won't let you beat it. The door is sturdily barricaded. All right, what the heck? I need a box, dude. I gotta, I gotta bounce. I gotta leave the station. This sucks. All right. I have any choice. I beat Code Veronica with a with just a knife, no guns. I beat Resident Evil 1 without dying one time. Live on stream uh, and not even practiced. I just literally went through the whole game and did not die one time. I was not an expert. I did not know everything there was to know. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. How tall are you? This guy's like 8,000 feet tall. Okay. 
trick of the camera angle. That guy looked like he was 10 feet tall, didn't he? Uh, Veronica and Zero. Uh, Zero is, uh, I think Zero is like during one. Or, no, right before one, right? Is it right before one? I think Zero is right before one, and I think uh, Code Veronica is technically the game that was supposed to be Resident Evil 3. This game right here, they actually, they made this game just to fill the gap, and it turned out great. This was just, this was to fill the gap. Code Veronica was supposed to be Resident Evil 3, from what I know. Yes! Oh, we found a room. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Alright, come on. We found it. <laughs> GED, what's up, man? How you doing? Alright, put the, uh, gosh, what can we put in here? Uh, let's get rid of this. Yeah, you, you go. Get out of here. And then... Keeping that. I'm definitely keeping this. Definitely keeping these. Definitely keeping that. Definitely, uh, oh gosh. You're left with one slot. I don't want to. Alright. Um. Let's put the lighter in here. I don't think I need the lighter right now, so let's just do that. Alright, cool. Wait, let's save it too. What's up, what's up? Welcome to the stream, man. We're doing, we're doing the most ever. This is the speed run. Okay, look. Guys, I'm gonna put the the uh, time on the screen real quick for you. That way you can see how long it's been. I, I keep I like to keep my time off the the screen because when I put it on the screen, it makes me makes me kind of I don't know makes me feel kind of like rushed. You know, I like to just do it. But I'll show you the time. Let me show you. Here we go. Right now. This is my time. Four hours and 26 minutes, guys. I'm on rec I'm on pace to become the world record holder. <laughs> Although a lot of that was me playing WWE uh, Supercard, so that doesn't count. Chris United, thank you for the brawn hostman. We'll use the ink ribbon. Yes, I will. Ink ribbon. Save the game. Here we go. Okay. I hope you guys like the speed run. It's the speediest. It's actually a, uh, what is it called? It's called like a, a brisk walk or something? It's not a, it's not a speed run, it's a brisk walk. Okay, what else is in here? Are there lockers? Can I, can I look at these lockers? Yeah! Sure. Sure, I'll take it. What about this? Anything? Nothing? Oh, yeah, remember? I don't know if you guys know or not, but this is the red room over here. You can actually develop pictures in there and things you find. It's pretty, pretty dang cool. Brisk jog. There you go. It's a brisk jog or like a, a speed walk. Alright, let's go into the, the red room. Sorry about how it looks like I don't know how to play this game, guys, but I... The way that I um, had to set this up for this for this controller to work on this game, I, I accidentally made it so that like you can't hold a button for it to work. It's really weird. Anyway, nothing suspicious. What about this? Suspicious. All right, fine. We'll be back. I remember exactly where you get it to. Christy. Fast food is so pricey now. Oh yeah, dude. That's for sure. Alright, let's go back and get the stuff that we couldn't get before. What's in that door? Did we even go in this door? Good job. Oh, it's this place. Yeah, I think we, I think we have to go here. Alright. Fast food is very expensive. You go to Carl's Jr. or you go to like uh, Jack in the Box, they're like eight dollars. You're like eight. What did I buy? You're like you got a number three. What the heck? Why? I don't know, man. The price of beef is going up. I ain't got no beef. Oh, I should have put away this key card too. I should have pulled away this other key card that I got. All right, let's check this out. What is it? 
ID card for stars. Jill's picture? It is Jill's. Ah, man. I knew I should have got rid of that. Ugh. Now I'm stuck again. Alright, what's in here? Nothing. Alright. Alright, let's go put this other key card away. Eight dollars, please. What? They're like, did you want a, did you want a bigger one? I'm like, what? There's a, there's one that costs more than that. They're like, yes. What? Oh, man, it is getting crazy. Dollars. It's like you. It's like they're trying to get you to go to like a sit-down restaurant where you could spend eight dollars and get like a real burger, you know? It's like they're trying to make you do that. Alright, you get out of here. There you go. I don't need that card anymore, do I? I feel like cooking, exactly. That's what they hope. Alright, let's keep her card. I wonder if we use her card on that computer, will it give us some other message? Let's go upstairs and find out. It's probably gonna say, you need the gem. I'll be like, what? No. Oh, I forgot about this. Hit your head on the stairs. Oh gosh. Hey, how you doing? Oh gosh. Hey. Hey man, stay back. I'm warning you. Blast. Get blasted on. Saber two tiger. Oh my god, no! Go, huh? Huh? What happened? What happened to your head? No, 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 no. Oh, you punks. That's it. Oh, good. I brought the gem. Keep playing. Now let's go in this door. Doorknob turns, but the door won't budge. Seems to be nailed from the other side. Nailed? But look, you can just crawl in there. Look. It's, it's, it's broken. Look. You can... Am I... To me, that looks broken. It looks like I could just crawl in there. Can I crawl in there? Thank you for the host. I see you. I see you bringing the hosts. Doesn't it look like I just crawled through that door? Big King Whopper Cheeseburger, large fly, a large fly. <laughs> Club. Club or die. Thank you so much. So she can hold a machine gun, a shotgun, a revolver, and not two cards, <laughs> two cards and a key. Hey, man. This is game logic. Puzzle here? Oh, that must be in two. That must be in two. Oh man. Yeah, they recycle some of the uh, environments from two. That's what made it so easy for them to put this game out. But oh, I, I don't want to use one of these. Hopefully, I can find like a an herb or something. I'm not using any any uh, what do you call it? Any first aid sprays right now. Club, what's up, man? Maybe that's not broken, but blood. Maybe it's blood on the bottom of the door. You might be right. But I could have sworn... Oh! In 2, don't you, like... Uh, there's, like, this little girl that you rescue or something, and I think she crawls through there. I'm probably wrong. I think she does. What is this? It's a star's office. Let's go. Yeah, star's office. Yeah, good. It's locked. The star's key. <gasps> Oh man, we forgot the star's key. Alright, let's go back. Hang on, guys, hang on. Never understood in games where it's a clear hole. The protagonist can climb through, but decides not to for some reason. I know, man. It's like just design it to look a little different, you know? You should just design it to where there's not a hole that you can crawl through, or it's like. But I guess storyline wise, it wouldn't make sense for this game because of what happens in. Alright, let's go. Yeah, it's so weird. Club, thank you so much for the host, man. Club, are you in here? Alright, let's go get this key. Where the heck is the key at? Oh, yeah, it's, it's down this hall. It's 
right here. I think. Yeah. All right. Cool. Ta-da! Emblem key. Is that the star's key? Hang on. Let's take a look at it. Star's emblem. Yes. We found it. We got it. Ta-da! Look at this. We're doing the most right now. We're, we're the best in the world. I'm pretty sure we're the best in the world. What's our inventory looking like? Uh, I kind of want to get rid of this this key card, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Let's go upstairs. this statue it'll let me put the gem on it. Let's try it. Statue of a god holding up his soul. Oh. Alright. That's fine, that's fine. Alright, we're still alive, which is good. Oh, of course, your princess with the two bits. Shave and a haircut. There we go. Use the star key. You no longer need this. Very, very nice. Will I discard it? Will I discard it? Will I discard it? Oh, of course, your princess. Thank you for the bits. Take the lockpick, yes. Thank you, thank you. What else? CD ROM. It's a desk of Chris Redfield. It's disorganized. Probably reflects the owner's personality. Aww. Why she gotta talk trash about Chris Redfield like that? Various trophies, one of them reads Marksman Contest winner, Chris Redfield. I think this is where you find the picture. I think you gotta click on this like 8,000 times. This desk of Wesker, captain of stars. Yeah, okay, we're just gonna click on this like a million times, guys. I think if you click on this a million times, you get a you get a picture you can develop. So we're just gonna keep clicking on it. Thank you, Skullcrusher Princess. That might be two, but I think it's this game as well. We'll find out. I'm gonna give you a rack over as well because we're in Raccoon City. It's a desk of Wesker. Might be two that you do it. I remember that there's that this desk right here, you click on it a couple like 90 times or something, and then it gives you a picture. What is this Chris Redfield? <laughs> Sounds like he would be in the worst Resident Evil game. He's in a lot of the good ones too. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you for the hosts, guys. Thank you for following. Thank you for, if you'd like to subscribe, you can. It's $4.99 a month, but it does help me out. It also gets you the access to the Gritty Hype emoji, or Gritty Hype icon, emote, whatever you want to call it. Also get uh, access to my old, uh, not old, but all my uh, archives, video on demand, so you can see my other streams that I've done in the past. keep clicking. I'm going to click probably for another two minutes and then I'm going to call it a night. Uh, not call it a night, but stop. That easter egg for film D is in Resident Evil 2, not this one. Oh. Alright, thank you. Thank you, Snowfox. You saved me a lot of, a lot of clicking, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> Some gun parts. Oh. And gun bullets? Nope.
Rebecca's desk? Rebecca. See, a rookie member of stars. How old is she? She's like seven years old in this game. Will I take the first aid spray? Sure. F8. Large communications device. It is out of commission. Can't send any messages from here. Nice, thanks. Ah, locker! Whoa! Dude, that came over. That came open super quick. Uh, will I take the G launcher? That's the gritty launcher, guys. Sure. Sure, I'll take it. Nothing more. I'll take the G launcher and launch gangsters across the world. I'm launching these gangsters all across the world. Still, getting the switches in a low low, girl. Taking my time to perfect the beats. I still got zombies in the streets. Oh! Oh, nice. The rookie member has her own desk. Cringe man, you gotta go? Alright, we'll see you later, man. No! Come on, everyone! Our platoon is cut off! No survivors found! This is Carlo! Send in support immediately! Oh, man, I thought it was out of commission. Shows how much she knows about stuff. McLovin, what's up, man? All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Such great storytelling they did with so, so little. Think about this, man. This game has a better, um, has a better ability of telling you a, a horrifying and, and just suspense-filled zombie um, storyline than games that took people four years to make, like State of Decay 2. <laughs> Think about that. Think about how masterful they were. Uh-oh. Red herbs. I don't want that. I don't want that. I'm gonna fill up my inventory. Oh, it's already full. What are we doing here? Uh-oh. Bad stuff is about to happen. I should probably heal myself. I don't want to waste it though. Alright. What did that give us? A lockpick? That's it. We got lockpick and we got Jill's card, so hopefully both of those will help me to. What was that? You heard that? It sounded like a window broke downstairs. Oh, that's just great. Oh gosh, you hear the music changed? <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Get in there! Oh, dude! No, he's gonna come in here, isn't he? Dude, he better not. Oh. Stop it. Dude, they got me so bad. <laughs> Open this up, save the game. Oh, goodness gracious. Get get everything out of my inventory here. Blue thing, get in here. Blue thing, get out of here. Uh, lock pick. Yeah, you gran grenade launcher. Get out of here. Hang on, maybe. Grenade launcher, you get back in here. Get back in here. Um, um, here, here, here. Oh, gosh. That was not right. Why'd they do me like that? <laughs> Dude, that scared the heck out of me. Why they do me like this? All right, here you. Uh... Oh my gosh, what do I do? All right, hang on, hang on. Oh, I never felt so unsafe in a safe room. I know, cause this dude can just bust in. All right, here you come here. No, no, that's not good. That's not a good idea. Here, you go back. Is there any herb? It's an herb, man. All the herb. 
keeps making me mad, uh, what do you call it? Paranoid. Mad paranoid. I totally pissed off. All I heard was the scream. Well, hey man, 